We're going to stick around for a couple of days and explore Coventry. This place really does have a massive buzz. Everything's like a separate piece of art. One of our customers at the cafe boat recommended this place to us. It's called Bean and Leaf Coffee House. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Well, that was altogether a much freakier experience than I thought it would be. Since we've been uh, chilling in Coventry, we've been drinking our coffee in this coffee shop, Bean and Leaf, and it turns out these guys have been watching the videos and have invited us to have a little morning with them guest barista -ing <laughs> to test my coffee skills and probably massively improve them. How are you? Thank you. Yeah, good. How are you guys? I'll give you a run uh, through of everything, but well, you might find that... I suddenly feel a bit daunted by like, somebody's proper cat. The, the beauty <laughs> of this is, once it's set up in the morning, it's one of the easiest things ever. This is where it will go wrong and they'll be terrible. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We've got a put press, so a put press literally straight in, it will tamp and then it will polish. And then apparently if you turn it upside down, it's supposed to stay in, but it never does. <laughs> we found this out the other day when one of our staff tipped it over Abby's head thinking it would stay in but it doesn't. <laughs> so there was coffee everywhere behind here the other day. And then it's all based on time to wait. So have you learned all of this just self -taught? Yeah, pretty much. I guess it's harder than it looks but then at the same time it's easier than people make out. Yeah, yeah. You can tilt it flat, hopefully not overflow. That's the thing. Really temperature. As soon as it starts threatening to overflow I tend to That's panic. The the, the more it swirls, obviously, the, the smoother it will become. And then hopefully, this won't be overly embarrassing. Oh, mate. Beautiful. Oh, you have nailed that. It's a thing of beauty. Sam and his wife did a similar thing to us, so they quit their jobs to set up this coffee shop to bring sort of good coffee to Coventry. They've got a, a little boy as well, a two and a half year old, so there's quite a few parallels, it feels. If you've got time, if you're moving it more, then the more you combine it, the smoother it will get. These guys have suddenly gotten busy in here, and I'm just going to watch and learn. Got an oat milk latte with two shots. Oops, sorry. Sorry, I only got four. Thank you, see you later. You guys got those drinks out with a cool, calm... I mean, I barely even noticed you doing it. When we get a, li a little rush like that, it's panic stations. <laughs> to be fair... <laughs> milk flying everywhere. <laughs> Maybe it's because the camera's here. Maybe it's cleaner because of that. <laughs> All right, OK, here we go. But Remember my training? I haven't had any training. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to mess this up. I we probably don't. actually did that too much. That's my best. That's actually, I'm so happy with the way that's You come should out. be. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Emily, take note. <laughs> that's just like the, <laughs> by chance. That's like the best one I've ever done. Oh, there you go. You should be very happy with that. <laughs> like that. Now we go straight out. Oh, mate, that's brilliant. Yeah, we, I'm, I'm, I'm well pleased with that. Like you should get it on your plate and then serve your wife. <laughs> There you go, madam. That's not good enough to take it back. <laughs> Look at that master of work. <laughs> wow. It's the only thing I'm masterful at, that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do a, just a quick comparison. <laughs> They're both beautiful that. in that's their own way. <laughs> Okay, I've still got some work to do. You can make this your drink. Perfect. We don't need customs drink. Okay, I'm going to learn everything that I've sort. Perfect. Especially because of it goes on it. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's my, this is my training that's ground. That's perfect. I'll just pop a lid. Yeah, I'll just slowly place that on. Here's your latte. So we've got to make the flat white to go. I feel so legit. Oh, oh right, yeah. Right, right. This is actually slave labour. <laughs> Oat milk's a little bit harder to... Uh, it's less forgiving, isn't it? It is a lot less forgiving. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm at your service. Joe's stepping out. So you want to do a latte pack? Slide it in, slide it in, and then let go. A little bit out. And just slide it into here. Oh, tap in. that's all ready to go. That's cool, isn't it? Then just into there. I would go middle button. That's it. I just feel to be back on the handles. Well, Vic doesn't let me on it now, so you know, I'm just feeling this ultimate freedom. <laughs> I feel like I'm back where I belong. <laughs> it's um, made me realise. I would probably say that's about enough there, and I'd love that about it. You just do it how you would normally do it. Lovely. And that Ooh. milk is perfect. It's so glossy. Oh, lovely. Are you pleased with that, Jay? Yeah, I'm really pleased with the milk. It's lovely milk. Yeah. It's like perfect. But that actually tastes really good. <laughs> Cafe life's just a little too much for some people, I guess. <laughs> we picked up quite a few tips, I think, yeah. from that. And it's cool just to actually um, hear it from someone because otherwise you just think you're making rules up or like making stuff up that's like oh, we not the dumb stuff. thing. We yeah. No, you're, you're our industry standard now. Thanks so much, guys. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Enjoy the rest of your day. Cheers. Yeah, to you too. See you soon. Bye. So nice. I feel like we've got friends here. Yeah. I don't want to leave. Yeah, I know. Same. <laughs> so those guys are all so nice and that's such a good atmosphere in there. I, uh, if you're in Coventry or even if you're just near Coventry and fancy a coffee, I can absolutely recommend. And I recommend the coffee. Oh God. <laughs> there are a few volunteers that um, sort of take care of the basin as well. Um, I'm just going to go speak to one of them because they've got the old weighing the old weigh bridge open where they used to like the coal used to come into the basin and then they would sort of people would come to the basin to collect it and they'd weigh it out um so he's got the the actual room that they used to do that in he's got that open so i'm gonna go and have a little word with him see what he can tell us good shelf yourself in there what a cute little place what we're looking at in here is the original weigh bridge when the canal system was built in Coventry here and this is the end of the Coventry canal this was put up and in fact, it became quite a thriving part of Coventry. They loaded the coal over there, right? And the cart was brought round here, taken through here, onto the weigh bridge. The coal was weighed, you see, and they paid. These windows here, they paid. And this gentleman here just told me, and it's absolutely wonderful, that in fact it was two old pence, two old pennies a ton, right? You've taken a picture of the inside, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. The machine that weighs it. Well, this is actually the weigh bridge. It's the original weigh bridge, and apparently it still works. Amazing. I haven't tried my weight this morning. I was going to say, have you tested it? <laughs> but it still works. Oh, that's cool. And over there is the man in that truck who actually shoveled the coal at two old pennies. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get him to go in that office. Yeah. And I'm going to go on that bridge. No. Away my truck. Are you? I can't do that. I'm not allowed. Why not? That sounds oh, too dangerous. Because I'm not an engineer. So I can't do it. Right? I'm sorry. Yeah. You need, you need <laughs> And the interesting thing was a boat had to unload apparently in five hours. Yeah. Right? It has to. It had to then got out. Yeah. This gentleman apparently sometimes worked till nine o'clock at night to get that boat out. Does it look different now to when you were here? Yeah, it's all changed. All changed for the worse. It's too tidy, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it is, it is. Another day in the basin. 
looking out over our piazza. <laughs> it's so nice here. <laughs> Do you ever find that you're um, like here, but because someone's standing there, you're just looking directly at their crotch? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you're just like, yeah, uh huh. You won't want to film this one. You'll so put not. Put a lid on that. Oh, yeah, mate. Yeah, we'll put a lid on that. <laughs> <laughs> You've let yourself down there. Landscape that you all in. Aren't those guys brilliant? Yeah, so nice. I love that those guys all came down. That was so nice. And I think it says a lot about your business if um, all of your staff get together on their day off and all come down yeah. for a little social time together. That's so nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's well good. What a lovely place to work. Because would I spend any of my time with these guys, <laughs> no. <laughs> How are you doing, you okay? Yeah, good, thank you. What can I get for you? Good, thanks, yeah. If we were doing two flat whites, for example, I'd split pour in that one, which is, probably, uh, I shouldn't say, maybe it's, maybe it's offensive, it's nicknamed Big Bertha. I don't know where that's going to turn. I don't know where that's going to turn. Is that wrong? It's just kind of stuck there. Those warehouses over there, all sorts of things were supplied in there. Concrete, grain, all sorts of things like that appeared here. Odd things, right? And it supplied Coventry, right? And you've been quite pivotal in saving this basin from, well, the fact that it's still well, here. Well, it's quite funny, really, because uh, British Waterway Board and Coventry Council decided they had a meeting about this place because they wanted to close the basin and in fact build luxury flats over there to within six feet of the water. Well, I proposed a vote of no confidence in these people and they had an adjournment and they came back and said, well, think about it. And it never got built and I'm absolutely delighted it's still here. <laughs> now, yeah, well, thank you. We've got you to thank. Okay. Yeah, that's great.